thank you so much for coming today. Um, pr probably the, the biggest uh, thing about me is I found out that I love strategy and I love numbers. I used to play uh, chess uh, with my father and at age six when I started beating him, he, um, he tried to find some uh, greater, let, let's keep the lights up if you can, uh, some, greater, um, some greater challenge. So I ended up at the age of 10 playing for the uh, United States State Department team where my dad was working. And it was always fun, we'd go and play you know, other corporations and universities, Bechtel and uh, University of Maryland and things like that. It was always fun at 10 to sit down at a board with some old person or some college person, which was that say, at that point seemed very old to me, because there was no pressure on me to win and every pressure on them to win. So I think I won about 40% of my games, but it felt like about 180% of my games that I won, because when I won, it was an incredible feat. And, uh, and a lot of fun. So I found that, uh, that investments, I, I like to say, is like chess in slow motion uh, because you make a move and then six months later you see if that was the right move to make. And so it's very strategic. There's a lot of numbers involved. I love math. And so that's wh where I found uh, that making the transition from being a computer science instructor and then programmer into the financial world has been, has been a, a great transition to make. And I do feel like a relative newcomer to Charlottesville. I, I know if you've been born here and you're over 50, then you're a, a true Charlottesvillian. And so not having been born here and only being here 21 years, my daughter's been here 20 years, and so, but she was born here, so she has hope of one day becoming a, a true Charlottesvillian. Um, today I'm gonna talk about comprehensive wealth management and I found that I mean, the articles and the talks that we give, there's lots of times where we're giving away tons of, of financial advice that saves hundreds or, or thousands of dollars. And that all takes more, um, a, a more measured approach and a more concerted effort. And I notice that usually about half of the audience's eyes glaze over as I'm working through the math of how this saves you money. So uh, today I'd like to talk about a little bit more about comprehensive wealth management and how wealth management fits into the overall picture of your life, really at any age. And so the first, um, the first is the principle of comprehensive wealth management, and that is that small changes in behavior have large results over time. So very small changes in behavior have very large results over time. So for example, if you can take the expense ratio on your investments, which is how much you get charged for your investments. Uh, the mutual fund company has, an, has some expense ratio. And if you can lower that by 1%, usually they're about 1.2 or 1.4%. Our average portfolio is 0.4%, so it's a full percentage lower. If you can lower your expense ratio by 1%, over say age 20 to age 72, so your working career if you will. Um, we actually don't think you should retire, but, but, but if you do happen to retire at age 72 and you start working at age 20, um, it means you can uh, retire about seven years earlier or about 50% richer. So for every 1%, it's seven years earlier or 50% richer. That's a huge effect. That means uh, financial planning advisors like to take 1% and break it down into hundredths of a percent. So there's 100 hundredths of a percent in 1%. So 0.01% is 1 one hundredth of a percent. They call those basis points. So if you ever, and sometimes it's, it's abbreviated BIPs, BPS, and pronounced BIPs. One BIP, you can retire almost a month earlier, it's 25 days earlier for every one BIP you get over your working career. And investment advisors will kill you know, for 10 BIPs because that's a huge amount in the investment world and we know what an effect that means. On a chessboard, it's like a pawn. A lot of people don't worry if they lose a pawn, but if you're playing Grandmaster Chess and you lose a pawn, you've probably lost the game and it's very difficult to struggle back from that. So very small changes in behavior have very large results over time. Now, not all financial stuff is difficult. There are some very easy things that you can do that will have a very huge effect. And let me just give you one, and if you came today, this is worth about $500 to you, so pay attention. You know, it's like if I passed out $500 bills, I couldn't be giving you more uh, in financial advice, and that is, in Virginia, you can pay your taxes at 70 cents on the dollar by buying Virginia land preservation tax credits. I wrote this article back in the summer. They're best to buy in the summer. In the summer, you buy them for 70 cents on the dollar. 
So if you have a tax bill of $2,000, you're saving 30%, which is $600, $60. If you have a tax bill, 2,000? 600, yeah, it is, it's 600. So that's the average tax bill of Virginia tax is about 2,000, you're gonna save $600. If you're a small business owner and your corporate income all flows onto your taxes and you pay $30,000 or $40,000 in Virginia taxes, at $40,000 this is worth at least $10,000 or more. So it's a huge amount, it's a very small change, and it's worth that much. Now I will tell you, we offered this to all of our financial planning clients and I don't understand, not everyone took us up on it. I don't understand why not. It, all it requires is you sign a piece of paper and you get a certificate and it's transferred electronically from someone else's tax ID to your tax ID and then on the Virginia tax form you say and apply the credit for tax ID this and it gets applied. So signing one piece of paper and writing the check. You have to write the check for all of your taxes in the summer and then you don't write any check when it comes April 15th because you've paid all your taxes. In fact, anything you've had withheld, you get back. So it's a very good investment. You can earn 30% on your money for basically um, nine months worth of, of return. And I can't get you any better than that in the, in the financial markets. You're not gonna get a 30% return on your money for having a year or nine months worth of investments. So that's just not reasonable. So here's a very simple thing that has a very huge effect. Now, take that and multiply that times hundreds of financial planning techniques and you begin to see how a lot of very small changes like that can actually build up into real money. So now some of you are saying 500 bucks, that's real money. So that tip all by itself, yeah. You have to do that every year? Every year in the summer you can buy them at 70 cents. If you want, you can wait until December and then you can buy them at 80 or 82 cents on the dollar. So you can even get them as late as December. Now, if you buy them now, they can't apply to last year's taxes. You have to buy them in the tax year that they apply to. So, but if you buy them now, you could get them for next year, but you can also wait until the summer. They, there's, no, there's no price difference between now and the summer. You can get them for about 70 cents on the dollar. We have uh, an article on our website, uh, drop us an email. I put some business cards in the back which are how to sign up for our newsletter, but you can also just Drop us an email, questions at emirata.com comes to me, and I'll point you to the right article, and I'll point you to the page for where you can, where you can find the information for some of the firms that will, uh, that will sell you these. Very simple.